the seven turtle species living in our oceans, six are on the red list of threatened or vulnerable species. But turtles are not the only members of this unenviable list. Another emblem of our oceans has a troubled coexistence with humans, the shark. Sharks have existed in our oceans for over 400 million years. Yet today, about a third of the world's species of sharks and rays are threatened with extinction, primarily because of overfishing. Large ocean predators, which play an essential role in maintaining balance in our ecosystems, are on the losing side of decades of exploitation. There are recent scientific publications that say that, in general, all marine predators have declined 90% in the last 50 years. So, you know, it's, it's not looking good. Biologist Randall Arauz is internationally recognized for his efforts to protect Costa Rica's turtle and shark populations. As an activist, he uses every means at his disposal to raise awareness of the catastrophic decline of turtles and sharks around the world. Through protests, school programs, and negotiating with fishermen, Randall tries to educate the public about the importance of large predators in ecosystems. And he wages an unrelenting war against long-line fishers who indiscriminately target large fish species. A friend of mine was lucky enough and he was able to get a job on one of these long line boats as a cook. So when he got the job, he told me. So we put that camera on the boat with my friend and he was acting like it was a family video. And sure enough, he brought video of leatherback sea turtles on the long lines, uh, sea lions on the long lines, mola molas, all sorts of wildlife. So th this is the first time we're getting a glimpse of what is occurring with the long line fishery, the, by the bycatch problem that it constitutes. And at the very end of the video, they pull up a shark. They hack off the fin and they throw the shark back into the water. And I was just stunned. Like, what was that? What, what just happened? What Randall had just witnessed for the first time was the cruel practice of shark finning. In its most barbaric form, the shark is dragged onto the boat where the fishers hack off its fins and tail. They then throw the shark back to sea often still alive. Unable to swim, it dies a slow death by suffocation. These images sparked an outcry against this practice. First of all, it's cruel. It's a cruel, painful death for these magnificent animals. Uh, from a more technical point of view, it's unsustainable. They're wiping out marine biodiversity so that a culture on the other side of the world can have their shark fin soup. Shark fins represent only about 5% of the animal's body mass, but they can fetch up to $400 per kilogram, making them one of the most valuable marine products in the world.